Hi, I'm Jody Davis, the Cuckoo Clock Designer. Congratulations on your new clock. I'm here now to show you how to set it up. Now I do include instructions. Inside the brown box that the clock comes in, you'll find instructions that I have typed up and a cover letter which tells you to come to me with any questions or to Keith Seabolt, his card is in there also. And then inside is this box that has the cuckoo clock in it. And there are instructions in that too that come from the factory. But the reason I put my own instructions in there is that the instructions that come from the factory are generic to all of the clocks that they make, whether they have music or not music and all different things. And people got a little confused about, well, what am I supposed to do here? So that's why I typed up instructions that are specific to the clocks that I sell. And it has helped people. It's really helped people to, um, not get stuck on things and to remember to do all the little parts and the pieces to make sure that when you get it all set up, it's working properly. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to set up your clock. So the first thing, of course, is to open the box. Ta-da! So the first thing you'll do, of course, is open your box. And uh, you'll see, bit to listen to, read the instructions is what it says. <laughs> so here's the clock. Wow, it still gives me a thrill, even after several years. So now I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna put it on a soft surface and I just happen to have a quilt nearby, imagine that. So now I'm gonna take the back off. And the first thing you'll see that at this wire gong, there's a piece of paper in there, you take that out. And then also, very conveniently, where the bellows are, there is a piece of paper that says, pull out. And you wanna do one for each bellow. Cuckoo, that's where you get the cuckoo. And then put the door back on. I use a screw to hang my clocks. And if you can, put it in a stud, especially if you have an eight day clock. You're gonna wanna tighten the distance in between here so that the clock is snug up against the wall so that it's not forward. So I put the clock up and then I adjust, I might tighten this more so that it holds the back flat against the wall. So I'm going to hang the clock on the wall with that hole. Get that screw in there. There we go. And what I'm saying is you want it to be flat against the wall. See, I can't really pull it forward. It's, the back is flat against the wall. And then the other thing is that you're going to want to make sure that it's level this way as well. There, I think that looks better. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is undo the cuckoo door so that that will open. And now I'm going to take the chains down. Never take the chains down until you have the clock on the wall. You don't want the chains falling off of the sprockets inside. That's not a good thing. And in fact, this is the point about when you want to repack your clock. That's the important thing. And I'm going to do a video on that too. So there's a, this nice little wire in here. And i got to try to gently pull it out. And that's what's holding them from going back in the clock. It gets um, stuck on the little, whoop, the little bends in the wire. Now we'll take this wrapper off and broom, there's our chain. Woohoo! Now we're getting somewhere. Next, I'm going to put the weights on, these nice little pine cone weights. And you can already hear, if not see, that the um, the hook for the pendulum is going back and forth. So now I'll put the pendulum on. Stay still there. And guess what? Now our clock is working. So now it's time to set the time. So what I'm going to do is take the minute hand, which is the one farthest out towards you, and go around to the half hour and let it cuckoo. It didn't cuckoo. Oh, oh, oh. Well, they usually don't come this way, but this, the lever on the side has silenced it, so I'm just going to put it down as far as it goes. It doesn't um, necessarily bottom out in the little hole that's there, so don't worry about that. Just as far as it goes, don't force it. And now it should cuckoo. There we go. And just one, because it's one o'clock. So let's just say it's 2.25, just for grunts. Okay, so there's the half hour. Two, hee hee hee. And then just put it down to the 25. Just don't move the hour, only move the minute hand, and you'll be fine. Enjoy your clock, and again, contact me with any questions, and tell the world that you're cuckoo for your cuckoo clock, and cuckoo for quilting, or birds, or barns, or whatever the theme of your clock is. Thanks so much.